Ulul gago, sino ba para magsalita? Pangit po naman, manahimik ka na lang dyan. What's up mga dudes and dudettes? Okay, first of all, I know, hindi ako tanga. Alam kong walang word na offense meant. That's just for clickbait. But it does connect with my brain fart for today which is about offensive words or comments. Basically the insults that I had when I was a kid. And ngayon nung tumanda na ako, napaisip ako na, wait, ba't nga pala ako naaasar doon? If you say it to me now, hindi na ako maaasar most probably. Okay, first and foremost and very common thing na pang asar sa akin is of course, my height. Pandak, oy pandak, abot mo ba yung billiard table? Oy pandak, doon ka sa harap ng linya. Oy pandak, hanggang dito ka lang sa bewang ko. Oy pandak, nanay mo lang gam. <laughs> I mean, dati nung sinabi sa akin yun, I'm like, Oh my God! It's offensive! They call me little! Super na-offend ako, and my time is parang naiyak ako, like, what? Ewan ko, siguro nung time na yun, um, I'm a bit insecure pa about my height, because, come on, let's face it, sino ba yung gusto ikaw yung pinakamaliit sa klase? Ikaw yung parating pinagtitripan, ikaw yung madaling ibuli kasi ikaw yung pinakamaliit. And magpapatuloy yun hanggang high school. And sometimes a little bit sa college. Well, di masyado. Kasi I'm assuming everyone in college grew up and everyone kind of matured na, hopefully. Nagpatuloy nga siya na nagpatuloy hanggang sa naisip ko na lang, Teka, bakit ako maaasar? Eh, totoo namang maliit ako. Hindi naman nakakapagpababa ng pagkatao ko yung height ko eh. Dami kayang benefits ng ganitong height tulad ng nasa unahan ka palagi ng pila. Parati ka magkakaroon ng gandong tanong, Chong, ilang taong ka na? And pagsagot ko naman, they'll be like, Wow, lol! Pinimahala! Tapos meron pa mga certain rights na pwede akong pumasok. For free! And mga kasuksok ako sa mga lugar na usually hindi ko papasukan ng ibang tao. Tapos madami pa, di ko nalang i-enumerate. Tapos pangalawa is yung mata ko. Siguro naman napansin nyo kung kano kalaking mata ko, diba? Oh, uh, daming pangasar sa akin, no? Like, matador, laki mata, owl. So syempre, pag sinasabi nila yun, I'm like, Hindi naman, Chong. Grabe ka naman. Pinagsabi mo dyan malaki mata ko. Tapos kakaasar sa akin na sanay na ako na kapag magpipicture ako, kailangan ko itaas yung ilalim na eye ko para lumiit yung mata ko. And ayun, nagmumukha tuloy akong gago sa every picture, di ba? And again, nagpatuloy, nagpatuloy hanggang sa tumanda ako. And I'm eventually like, yo, bakit nga ulit ako maaasar dun sa malaking mata? Eh, ang dami niyang benefits. One is super linaw ng aking mata dahil super bilog ang aking iris. I don't know how that connects, but you know. Ang downside lang is uh, pag kumura pa ako medyo matagal. Okay, that was a joke. And ewan ko ba, feeling ko sa akin lang to, pero since malaki mata ko, mas nakakita ako ng mabuti sa so madilim. <laughs> Anyways, tapos na yun. Hindi na dapat ako ma-offend doon. Next is yung overall mukha ko. Pangit daw. Pangit mo. Feeling pogi ka. Hindi eh, nung bata ako, syempre na-offend ako and nako-concern ako. Like, pangit ako. Walang magkaagusto sa akin. Hindi ako pogi. But my mom told me na pogi ako. What the f***? How does that happen? Pero alam mo yun, once you get older, you realize na hindi lahat ng tao sa physical aspects lang naa-attract. Well, syempre, first impression pa rin is yung mukha. Let's be real, kasi ito naman talaga una may kita. So please, mag-ayos pa rin kayo kahit pa paano. Hindi naman purkit mabuti kalooban mo eh, hindi ka na magbubunot ng buhok sa ilong. Hindi mo na isi-save yung unibrow mo. Hindi na magtatanggal ng kulangot. Hindi na mag-aayos ng ngipin. Physical attraction pa rin syempre ang unang factor sa tao. mag stay lang yung gusto nila sa'yo pag gusto rin nila yung personality mo. Anyway, yun nga pa ulit-ulit yun. Actually, hanggang ngayon, meron pa din. Pero ako, I learned to accept it. Hindi ko naman din sinasabi na, Chong, wala eh. Pangit talaga ako eh. Hindi ko sinasabi yun. I'd like to think na hindi ako pangit. Pero hindi rin ako James Reed levels. I just want you And like I said, it's fine. Because you, when you get older, you realize that it's not all about the face. And I also realize that whenever someone calls you pangit, it's not because you are actually pangit. It's because hindi ka pumapasa dun sa benchmark nila. That I'm actually telling you, it varies from each person. May mga taong ang pogi lang sa kanila is yung James Reed levels. May mga taong pogi na sa kanila. Yung mga long may hiya. May mga ganun. We shouldn't be judging that And ikaw naman, di mo kailangan mag-conform dun sa gusto ng ibang tao. You have to look beautiful for yourself. Isa pang pang-asar sa akin nung bata ako is yung nunal ko. Which is the Mall of Asia. Kasi sobrang laki daw ng nunal ko sa ilong. Tapos p***** uh, nanganak pa ang katigas ng muka. Bakit daw ako may bangaw sa ilong? Bakit ako may hikaw sa ilong na black? And again, tumanda ako. Eventually, naisip ko na it's fine. Some people call it beauty marks nga eh. 
Siguro na sobrahan lang ako ng beauty on this specific side of my nose po. And at least it's not like one of those that gets big and it's cancerous. And the fact na when tinanong ko sa derma kung anong pwedeng gawin ko about this mole, she's like, two months, you're gonna be like this. One nostril. So yeah, that option's not on the table. Maybe in the future things. And last but not the least, ito usually friends ko lang nakakaalam. I'ma show you a magic trick. And yes, puzzle talaga daliri ko. My index. Sempre, I was the butt of every joke. Again, bata ko I was like, hey man, puto ba talaga daliri mo? Napoto kang kaba? Sabi ko naman kasi sa yung kamasyado mag nail bite. Yan tuloy. And this is the last time that I'm gonna say it. Again, life happened, and I also use this to my advantage. Yung magic kanina, nagsiserve as icebreaker yun sa mga conversation. Sometimes, pag sasara elevator, I just put my hand in between dun sa closed doors. Then, I'll be like, ow! 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 Tapos, the people around me, and they're gonna get a good laugh. And automatically, they will like you na. Because believe me, that's the trick to some, no, not really, most people. Papahaba ko pa nga mga usapan sa mga taong gusto ko pang makausap eh. Like, mga, may mga bae nagtatanong, ano nangyari sa daliri mo? Tapos ako naman, sabihin ko, well, alam mo yung moving teeth? Yung babaeng may ngipin yung vagina niya. Tapos the girls be like, Ew, bastos mo! Oh my God! Oh my God! Tapos ako naman, wala, gusto ko lang sabihin, maganda yun. Gusto ko yung moving niyan. Ito kasi ito, sa bike to. Okay, what happened was, when I was a kid, one of my relatives are actually using my bike. And he doesn't know that I was playing with the chain dun sa my bike. So, nung nilalaro ko yun, he decided to actually pedal without knowing that I was still playing that. Tapos yung daliri ko pumasok dun sa chain, umikot, and boom! It's done! I'm fingerless. Nakasabit lang siya, they had to cut it out pa. Pero it can't grow back because the bones were crushed. So yeah, that's the story of this finger, basically. But, you know, feel free to come up with a story about yung the origins of this finger. Dude, I, like, I would really appreciate it. I like a person with that imaginative mind. And another benefit of this is kapag naglalaro ako ng uh, arcade, like Time Crisis, since mas mali ito, mas mabilis yung trigger finger ko. Yung handgun dun sa Time Crisis, nagmumukhang sub machine gun sa akin. Eh, yeah, yeah, diba? Benefits turning something negative into a positive thing. Tapos pag naglalaro din ako ng Counter-Strike, I, I don't know if you guys play CSGO, when I use the Tech 9, it's basically Max 10 to me. And see, more icebreaker. I can even put this on my eye. Like, ah! I can even put this on my neck. And I can even do this. Yeah, it looks like I'm giving you the finger, but basically I'm just bending this finger like this. So it looks like I'm giving you the finger. Believe me, I got in trouble for that before. The thing is, my dudes, hindi mo wala yung pang asar sa inyo kahit gaano ka pa kaganda or gaano ka pa kapogi. Well, except if you're like Liza Soberano. Ano ba pang asar sa kanya? I'm not really sure. I think the best pang asar na magagawa ko sa kanya is ganda mo. Hindi ka makatarungan. Bakit ganyan yung itsura mo? Date tayo. So yun nga, we have to remember na each individual is may pang asar sa kanila. So we don't really have to take it to heart. You know? And sometimes, yung mga nangaasar sa'yo, ito yung reflection ng mga masasamang ugali nila eh. Except for best friends, di ba? Yeah, lesson is, dapat as you grow older, dapat tanggap mo na lahat ng flaws mo. Dapat kilalang kilala mo na sarili mo, inside and out. Because that way, wala nang masasabi sa'yo yung tao na ikakaasar mo pa. Basically, like Eminem in 8 Mile. Lahat na ng flaws niya, sinabi niya, so wala tuloy panlaban sa kanyang kalaban niya, di ba? And ito yung mindset ko eh. Feel free to actually apply this mindset to your everyday life. Two things. One is, kapag yung pangasar sa'yo is not Totoo, it's fine. Ba't ako maaasar? Totoo naman yun. It's my flaw. Two is, pag may inaasar sa akin na hindi naman totoo, then bakit ako maaasar? Alam ko naman sa sarili ko na hindi totoo yun. Alam na mga close sa akin na hindi totoo yun. So, in a way, hindi na ako ma-offend ever. <laughs> okay, I hope you learned a thing or two in this episode today. And I only hope that you guys up your threshold of being offended because, let's face it, man, nobody likes a pick-on person. Again, you know what to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, share this on social media, follow me on other social medias as well. And if you have suggestions, comments, and violent reactions, feel free to put it in the comments below. And again, I'm D, and this is D Talks, and that is one long brain fart. And as I always say, it's okay to fart as long as it's from the heart, man. So yeah, by the way guys, I would like to introduce you to my son. His name is Bubu. You can follow him at Instagram.com slash Bubu underscore the bear. <laughs> hi, say hi, Bubu. Hi, everyone. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube.
Stay, you a star now, boo boo. You a star. You a star. <laughs>